I've got a useful tool to show you today. This is the WLHT007 soldering station. It serves many functions. Let me show you what they are. This is a universal soldering station. When we open it up, we find a few things. A handful of different size soldering tips, power cable, the soldering iron, USB to USB-C cable, and the WLHT007 lead-free soldering station. There's an instruction manual that has the translations in English. On the side, we do need to get separate preheating molds. This one covers the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. Comes with the different stencils for reballing for all of the different models, the cable, and here is the platform itself. Individual connectors for each of the models, designed to have that airflow in mind for when uh, heating up and cooling down the boards. And the same goes for the 12 series. We got ourselves a cable, the different stencils for reballing, and the platforms themselves. Let's test one of these out and see how it goes. I am actually able to fit a 12 Pro Max board in there, even with the 5G antenna. It's got these pins that help everything align right inside the mold, and you can see that the plate comes up on the edge, which is kind of where you want the heat to be anyway, as the platform itself. You want to be able to distribute the heat around the border so that you can separate the boards without introducing the heat to the entire board like you would on other platforms. Let's plug it in. And plug in the other side. Let's turn it on. All right, we can set it. Currently it's at 200 degrees Celsius. I can go up or down. Has a time limit as well. And as soon as it gets to temperature, I'm gonna lift that board up. And we'll let it cool down. What's really quite unique about this heating plate, you'll be able to reball as the stencils line up perfectly with the pegs. You'll be able to reball, remove, and let the heating pad melt all of the solder paste so that you don't have to use a heat gun and deal with the drama that comes with trying to heat up a stencil that flexes like all stencils do. You can just reball it here in place. Turn the machine off when it's at temperature. Once it's cooled down, you'll be able to put the top board back on and turn it back on, let it get up to temperature, turn it off, let it cool down, and it'll be ready to go. The heat plate is nice and nice and cool. I can turn it on. We can set in place our top board and line it up. Turn the machine on, and then while it is warming up, I can make any adjustments. I need to make sure that the board is perfectly centered and I can see that the board is settling right now, which is right where I expect it to. And what's really cool about this is we could adjust this to where we could literally just set it and forget it because it would automatically time out with the timer. It'll cool down on its own and when we come back after that, the board should be ready and cool to then take off and install back in the phone. But seeing as I'm already where I wanna be, I can see that it's closed all the way. It looks really good. I could turn off the machine, and once this is cooled down, I'll be able to remove it. Install it back in the phone and test it. As you can see, this is a very useful tool, and for the price, you can't beat it. There will be links in the description below. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.